Hello and welcome. In this tutorial video, I want to show you how to create a video screen similar to this one where you can play videos. So let's hit the ring button and hit create thing. And we want to start with a screen itself. So let's take this cube, stretch it a bit. And to have it properly aligned, I will click dot 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 and I will click snap angles. Now when I touch it again, it will sort of be very properly horizontally aligned. And now let me give it a black color, maybe on a metal, shiny metal surface, maybe like this. And let's create let's create a little wrapper around it. Let's take this and let's take a brighter blue. Maybe a bit brighter. Maybe like this and position it around here, stretch it, stretch it some more, maybe like this, okay. And one thing we want to do is add a little button. I will disable snap angles for a second. And I make a button to start this. And so that people will recognize what this does. I will give it a glowing kind of material. Actually, let me put back snap angles. Now this is the normal state. And when you tap it, it should go into a tap position and start the video search dialog where people can search for videos. So I will context laser this. Context lasering happens with the top button on your controller. And then I will say when touched, then become state next in one second. And what is state next? I will click on the second state. State next is just this a bit pressed. And from there, it will immediately go back to the previous state. And next can also be used to mean previous if there is no further state defined by us. So let's see if that works so far. Click it. Yep, it works. Click it. It works. Now, so that anyone knows this is a video button, you context laser this. Click the dot 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 at the bottom left. And you say video button. Now, we need to do one thing, and that's to tell AnyLand that this is a video screen. Context laser the screen. Click here again, tap video screen. If you want the sound to be the same volume in all of the area, you can click surround sound. If you want it to sort of be a 3D sound that gets lower as you move away, then you can just leave this unticked. Let's leave this unticked for now. And we go back to the main dialog. We name this video. You can name it anything you want. And we save it. Now that we saved it, um, we can move it as one. We can clone it and so on. Because I left on the alignment property, this cannot be rotated in any direction. Let me quickly hit the clone button here. Click this again, click snap angles and save again. Now you can see I can move it a bit more freely. So let's see what happens when we click the button here. When we click it, there's a dialog popping up. It says find videos. Now I can click the magnifying glass and I can search for anything. Let's say music 2016. And I will search YouTube. And there's something called Awesome Mix. And it will play back here. Sometimes a video is blocked in your country for rights reasons. This might actually be the case here. Let me try another one. Doo -doo -doo -doo. There's a lot of blocked things. This one is blocked. So this plays back normally. And here you can adjust the volume. 
I will stop this for now. Here you can adjust the volume and other people in the area can watch the video with you. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and see you next time. Bye-bye.